Hey guys, it's Nick, aka the one only Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to live stream Minecraft using the built-in Twitch.tv client that was introduced in Minecraft 1.7.4. So first off, we're going to be on the home me page menu here. We're going to go into options and then broadcast settings. Now we need to link our Twitch account to our Mojang.com account. So I'm going to go ahead and link these accounts. It's going to take me over here to the web, and I'm going to go ahead and log into my account, and I'll meet you guys after I've done that. All right, so once you've logged into your Mojang account, we want to go up here to the top, wherever it says your email up here, and we want to go to settings. From there, we want to click this little button right here, connect to Twitch account. It's then going to take you over to Twitch, and it's going to ask you to log in. And again, I'm going to go ahead and log into my Twitch account, and then we'll be ready to go. All right, so once you've logged into your Twitch.tv account, it'll show something like this, except this will be your Twitch.tv username. So go ahead and click Authorize. Boom. Once you've done that, it's now linked here. We can go back to Minecraft. Now, oddly enough, we do have to restart Minecraft, so we're going to back out and come back in, and I'll meet you guys again on the Minecraft main menu once I've restarted the program. So now I've closed out of Minecraft, and here it is. It's opened back up. I closed it out, opened it back up, and now we can go into Options, Broadcast Settings, and as you can see, we have all of these options. Now, what are all of these options? There are a ton of different ones, and I'm going to try to break them all down for you the best I can. Now, first off, we have quality. I would probably move this up to about 170. That's what I typically stream on not using this, so I'll use it, you know, here. I'm not going to define what BPP stands for. It's a little complicated in how it comes up with all that, so just know that that's probably be 170. However, if your internet connection is bad, we can take that down as low as 170. Yeah, point one here, but I'd probably go down to like 130 or something. But I'm gonna use 170 for mine. Moving on here, we have frame rate. Now, the higher this is, the more you're going to lag in Minecraft, and you want to keep this about where your Minecraft runs for frames. Okay, so for me, I'm gonna put it about 30, and that's typically what I live stream as when I'm not live streaming using this client, and I think that's what's best. Now, as far as bandwidth th goes, this is where your internet is 100% important, okay? If your internet is not good, your bandwidth needs to be lower. I would not recommend going below 1500 bandwidth. Anywhere between 1400 to 1500 is HD 720p. Anything below that is not high definition video, and really and truly streaming is pointless at that point. However, I have 5 megabits per second upload. Okay, so what that means is that means I can upload 5 megabits per second or 5,000 kilobytes per second, which is what we're looking at here. I'm going to use ha uh, less than half my internet speed. I'm going to use 2 kilobytes per second to stream. You guys can use whatever you want. I would recommend half of your internet speed, but I would also recommend not going below 1.4 so, if you're unsure what your internet speed is, try 1.4, see if you're lagging, and, and work from there. Send metadata. This doesn't really matter whether it's on or off. I'm going to keep it on, and we're going to move on here. Now, this is the mic volume. The lower this is, the you know, if it's off, the people won't be able to hear you on your stream whatsoever. The higher it is, the louder you will be. So, you can kind of play with that, and depends on really how close your mic is to your face, what kind of mic you have, and everything like that. Next, we have system volume. This is how loud Minecraft's volume will be whenever you are streaming. So the higher this is, the louder Minecraft's going to be. I would probably start this at 50%, and that way your mic volume will be louder than the game volume if you're streaming, if your mic volume is 100% as it is for me. However, you might want to play around. You might end up turning it to 75. You might end up turning it down to 1, even, you know, if that's what it takes. But... I would start at 50 and work from there and see what works best for you and your Minecraft settings. Push to mute here means you can push a button to mute your mic versus being able to push to talk, which means every time you talk, you have to push a button. I would recommend doing push to mute. You push the button, you mute Minecraft, and you move on. Compression, this is how much your video is compressed before it's sent to Twitch. Now, if you have a really good internet connection, I would recommend low compression. If you have a really, really bad internet connection, I would recommend high compression. And if you're like me, have a decent internet connection, keep it where it is, go with medium. Alright, moving on, we have our Twitch chat settings here. 
Now, I don't know what this is, and I apologize for that. I don't stream on Twitch often, so I don't know anything about their chat settings, or their chat partner settings. If you guys know more about that, let me know in the comment section down below. And you guys can also look there for that information because I have no clue. But I obviously know it involves chat settings. However, there are filters on Twitch and I think this is a subscriber only feature. Now what these filters are is you can have your chat open to all your viewers, only your subscribers, or only your moderators. I would recommend opening up to all viewers and if you're not a Twitch partner I think that is a must but you know it's really all up to you especially if you're a partner you might want your subscriber chat. I get that 100%. I'm going to open it up to all viewers. Alright, so now we move on to the broadcast server list. Now, what you would typically want to do is go through and wait until all of these generate. Now, this is a one-time thing, so bear with it. But once all of these numbers generate, these kilobytes per second numbers, you want to click the one that is the lowest. That's going to give you the best streaming quality, the less least latency and everything like that. For me, I know it's going to be this one because I do stream on Twitch quite often. So we're going to hit this one right here, which is East Ashburn, Virginia, U.S. East Ashburn, Virginia. For you guys, it might be if you're in Europe, a European server. If you're in, you know, on the West Coast, it might be the ones in California. It really just depends on where you are, but I know Ashburn, Virginia is going to be the best for me. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and hit done, and we want to actually move on to controls. When we scroll down all the way to the bottom, we'll be able to see all the streaming options. So F7 is to pause stream. Um, you know, slash unpause stream, so it's going to like pause the stream, slash unpause the stream, obviously. Um, we do not have a push to talk slash mute button. If we want to add that, we'll say make that, um, this, you know, the grave key there. If you guys don't know what that is, it's the one right under the escape key. Uh, the show stream commercials, this is only if you're a partner yet again, but if you are, you can, you know, set that to equals, for example. And then the stop slash start stream, that is F6, so, you know, we'll just go ahead and keep that the same as well. Now, let's go ahead and launch into a Minecraft game. I'm going to launch to my Minecraft creative server here, play selected world, and we will go live. So if we hit F6, this is going to lag my computer like crazy because I have a lot of stuff open. And uh, as you can see, Minecraft is actually already lagging. So if I go in here and I actually change some of my video settings to the render distance all the way down, the max frame rate to whatever we're streaming at, change that to 30, and maybe it'll be better. And uh, yeah, it does seem to have improved it a little bit. But if we hit F6, you'll notice a record button. Turns up in the right hand corner and that's a record button and a microphone to know you that both to let you know that both are live. If we hit the grave key, you'll see that the mic does mute whenever I do that, and there's an X on it, and then boom, there you go. I'm back live on Twitch, and I can actually show you guys that real quick if I go over here to my to my internet browser real quick. Close out of this. It's gonna open up Twitter, so I do apologize for that. But if we go to twitch.tv slash Crisis YT, which is my Twitch account. If you want to follow it, go ahead. I never stream, but it's there. Um, it will come up and it will show you guys my stream. As you can see, it says it's playing Minecraft. The title is wrong, but I am playing Minecraft, so that's kind of cool. And uh, it's going to load the video here, and you'll be able to see that I'm live whenever it does load. Sorry, it's taking a minute. I am streaming and everything, and boom, there is that. It says live right up here in the top right hand corner. And you'll be able to see the video when it does load, which may take a minute. We're going to have to sit through an ad and everything, and I'll go ahead and turn that off. Don't want any YouTube copyright claims. That's been a thing lately. But uh, if we move here, it's going to lag because I am, like I said, running a ton of programs. But, you know, if you can stream, it won't lag, and you should be good. And I could typically stream, but I have so much stuff open that uses a ton of hardware. And so, um, so yeah, as you can see, there is, there's my stream. It's live. It's exactly what I'm looking at right over here. So nevertheless, guys, I hope that helped you out. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Any questions, comments, concerns you guys may have, please put those in the comments section down below. Um, yeah, so hope this video helped. Again, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is my Let's Play of Minecraft. It's called Crisis Craft. That's episode 13. It's really good. I go exploring down in the caves. I'm trapped down there. Go check it out. It's awesome. And on the right is how to install custom maps in Minecraft 1.7.4. If you don't know how to install custom maps and say you want to stream them, go check out that video. That'll tell you exactly how to do that. 
I'm Nick's Games, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'm out. Peace.